Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to start with our new practical and this will be a complete data engineering project. Okay. So we will be having one of the business use case and based on the business use case, we will try to solve the problem. How actually we do in a real time industry also. Okay. So let us first try to understand the, what is the business use case. So we have a data that is continuously flowing to the Amazon S3 from external resources. Suppose you have a external resources, suppose you have a web application, suppose you have Android or suppose you have any kind of the iOS application. Okay. From there you are getting continuously data and that is getting stored into a Amazon S3 in a JSON format. Okay. So what actually we are going to do? We are going to create one ETL pipeline, which will be able to transfer our data from one S3 bucket to another S3 bucket from a JSON format to a CSV format. Okay. So for that, how actually we can create a ETL pipeline in a uh, AWS environment for that, we will try to uh, create, we will try to create one ETL pipeline with the help of the AWS glue. Okay. We will try to see how actually we can use a AWS glue. We will try to create a crawler. We will try to create a data catalog and we will try to see how actually we can add a transformation and how actually we can directly transfer our data from a one S3 bucket to another S3 bucket. Okay, so this is a complete project which we are going to be do in this particular project. Okay, so let us start with our practical lab. Okay, now let us start with the, our practical lab part. Okay, so I open to the AWS console. Once you will log into the AWS console, this will look like this. Okay, what what is the first step we have to do? We have to create a S3. Okay, so search for the S3. Click on the S3. Okay, here we are going to create our two source, one source bucket, one target bucket. Okay, so click on the create bucket, the source bucket I am giving as a name, give you a bucket name. Okay, so I am giving bu bucket name as a source input bucket, something name I am giving. Make sure whenever you are creating a bucket, it should be unique. Otherwise it will give error. After that you have to select your region. Okay, so I am creating into a North Virginia region. Okay. And uh, if you want to do any kind of the bucket versioning that also you can do, but I'm not going to do in this particular project. After that, I will just click on the create bucket. Okay. After that, our bucket will be ready. You can see bucket which got created like source input bucket. I will create one more bucket. I will give name as a source output bucket. Okay. I will give source output bucket or I can say target something, target output bucket. Okay. So this is the name I am giving the, in the same reason I am creating bucket I'll just click on the create bucket. Okay. So our two bucket, which is now created one is source bucket, one is target bucket. I'll try to create one more bucket. If it is necessary, I will give name as a other bucket. Uh, uh, it is something, this is the name I am giving. Okay. I just click on the create bucket. So I created three bucket. One is our source, one is our target and one extra bucket I have created. Okay. So what actually we are going to do in a source bucket, I will try to add file. I will try to upload file, add file. And we have one of the file that is a financial consumer complaint. This is the particular file, which I am trying to upload. Okay, so this is the this is the file which is available into a JSON format and that is our source. So our source file is nothing but a JSON file. Okay. After that, what actually we will do? We will try to create one ADL pipeline that will able to transfer our data from one S3 bucket, one source bucket to a target bucket in a CSV format. Okay. So how actually we can do? How actually we can perform a ADL pipeline? So for performing a ETL pipeline activity, we have to use a AWS glue in a AWS space. Okay. In Azure, we generally try to do ADF, Azure Data Factory, but in, a, but in AWS space, we try to use a AWS glue. Okay. Once the file will be uploaded, uh, we will try to create a ETL pipeline. Okay. Now you can see the total remaining one file, 0% is almost completed. We just have to wait our source to be ready. Okay. You can see upload is now succeed. Close. Now it will go to the bucket. We have a one source bucket, one source bucket. The consumer file is there. Okay. In a target bucket as of now, we don't have any file. Okay. 
So now what actually we are going to do, we are going to create a ETL pipeline. So I will search for the AWS Glue. Okay, I will open in a new tab. Okay. So I open in a new tab. What actually we are going to do, we are going to create a ETL pipeline. We have option at the database, table, crawler. So okay, so let us try to create a crawler first. Click on the crawler, click on the create crawler, give the crawler name. I will give crawler name as a source crawler something and click on the next. Now let us try to add your source. What is our source? Add a data source. Source is nothing but ours. What is our source? Source is nothing but source input bucket. Okay. So this is our source. Leave the slash. Okay. And after that, we will select crawl all subfolder. It will go to the all the folders and then it will crawl the data. Click on the S3 data source. We have added our data source. Click on the next. Click on the create new IM role. So we are going to create a IM role. So I will give name as a project demo. Okay. This is the, the IM role which will get created automatically in a glue itself. You can create a new IM role. So you can see one IM role which got created from here itself. Okay, click on the next. Now we will create a database. Add database. Give the database name. I will give database name as a glue. You can give any name. Okay, create database. So let me refresh. You can see glue is there. Select that. And we want to run this crawler based on our demand, not hourly daily. Okay, so I will select on demand. Click on the next. And after that, click on the create crawler. So we have created one crawler. This is the crawler which is now ready. Click on that. Click on the run. Okay. Now our crawler will start running. What actually it will do? It will go to my S3 location, whatever the data source we have given. It will crawl all our data. Okay. Whatever the data is schema, it will automatically create it. And it will create one table which will get stored into left side you can see one table is there right and here you will get one info one table will get created that kind of the info you will get it okay so let us wait it to be created once the table will be ready okay uh, we will be able to see what is our schema as our file is available into a json format so you will get a schema as a array format okay but in a etl pipeline whenever we will create a etl job okay there you will be able to see your schema automatically okay so we will try to explore but once it will get created okay so here we have created one database also the database name we have given as a glue okay in that glue we have seen like uh, we, in a glue database only that table will get created okay now you can see the table changes from last time one table got created and the state is now stopping now if you will see one table which got created okay one table which got created let us go to the table okay in this table if you will see we have one source file okay this is the particular table which got created and this is based on our s3 bucket name only okay now if you click here it will go down it is able to identify the column name as array and it is able to identify like our source file is nothing but it is in an array format okay now one table which got created now what actually we are going to do now we are going to create a etl pipeline so you can see we have a data integration and ets so click on the jobs in this job we are going to create our etl pipeline okay so we have a multiple option if you already have any kind of the etl script you can use that or you can use a or you can go with the visual with a source and target let us try to see in a visually only how actually we can create a data pipeline click on the create so you can see we have a source, uh, any kind of the transformation or we have a target. So let us try to do from a basic. Okay, so this is the data source. Let us try to click here. Let us try to add our source. Source is glue. What is our table? This is the table which we have created. That's it. Our source is now ready. Okay, now if you click here, now in the transformation, if you will click, you will be able to see there are multiple uh, transformation which is available like we have a select field drop field drop null value drop duplicate any kind of the transformation if you want to do you can do it okay 
now one thing also i will show it will click here okay the source we have added right now it will go to the output schema it is showing array because our, uh, our schema is in uh, array format now if you click here you will be able to see these are all the columns which is available okay in this particular json format so it automatically detected it is a integer it is a string and all okay okay now our source is ready what actually we are going to do we are going to add our target also what is our target target is nothing but a click on the target uh, in a target also we want to uh, add our target as a uh, let us try to add let me first remove this okay so this is our source now let us try to add a target target is our amazon s3 only okay now on which format you want to save we want to save in a csv we have a different format also that also you can select on which particular location you want to save i want to save into output location i will select that okay and after that uh, after selecting that that's it our source and our target is now ready now if you go to the script you will be able to see this is automated script which got generated based on our, based on our visual okay now go to the job details here we have to specify about the job details i'll give job details as a glue job something any name you can give after that the im role this is the im role we have created that actually i'm going to use and the version language you can select that the number of worker i need only two because i am doing a project okay based on your requirement you can select that and the if the failure happen how many retry you want or what is the job timeout i will select the five minutes only okay that's it after this uh, after that you have to click on the save once you will save you can see your pipeline is now ready if you go to the runs from here you can run the job or we have even if you want to settle you can settle that also click on the run click on the run job now our data pipeline is status is running and we will get an error because what is the one mistake we have done we haven't specified any proper access okay what actually we are doing from a aws glue we are trying to co uh, copy the data from one s3 bucket to another s3 bucket in a json format uh, from json to a csv format right so uh, whatever the im role we have created we have to specify the IS s3 level access also but we haven't given okay if you will see you will get an, one error okay let us try to it to be completed then we will try to understand more what will be the error we will get okay still we can see the status is running okay uh, here we have run manually but if you want even if you want to schedule you can schedule it or even if you want to use any kind of the lambda trigger that also you can use or uh, mostly with the help of the lambda we try to trigger it and we will try to run it so, so we have both the option any option we can select that okay let now if you will see our pipeline our ideal pipeline which got failed and it is saying like access denied because we haven't provided a proper uh, access okay so what actually i will do i will click on i will search for the im click on to the open in a new tab okay in i am what is our role we have created go to the role okay let us wait it's coming go to the role this is a particular role we have created click on that now you can see as of now we have only one access that is a glue service role access click on the add permission attach policy what is the access we want to add we want to give s3 related access okay as of now i will give a full access okay because i am doing a practical but based on your requirement you can give okay now now we have provided the access now what actually i will do i will try to rerun how actually we can rerun click on this run now you can see our pipeline is running now this time it should succeed and it should be able to transfer our data into another s3 bucket in a csv format Okay, so let us wait it to be completed. Now, if you will see our run status is succeed. Now, if you will go to the S3 bucket, uh, in S3 bucket, uh, go to the 
your output location this is our output path target output path now you can see one part file which got copied let us try to click here try to download and it should be we have actually saved into a csv format so it should be able okay let us try to open it so this is the particular file let me try to open in a notepad because it is in a csv format comma separated okay so you can see this is the particular file which we have and it automatically detected all the column okay and the comma separated file we are able to see